I know it's October the 16th, 2010. And what town are we near? We are near Burkittsville, Maryland. Burkittsville, Maryland, right? Yes. Not and, too far from Harper's Ferry. Okay. And we're uh, in Robbie's shop. That's right. One wing of it. The land of Chrysler's. Very much so. And and we are uh, looking at a Chrysler of specific importance to some projects that we've all been familiar with. What is it? Uh, this is a 1928 Chrysler Coupe that he bought to serve as a parts donor for his station wagon, the 1928 Chrysler station wagon. Or what we've been calling the beach wagon. Okay, well let's take a little walk around this car and I'll keep on going here. This is the engine, which is the hood and everything's off, of course. And I'll go around the other side. And this, when he started taking it apart, was a beautifully restored automobile, wasn't it? Uh, an old restoration, but yeah, quite a... Uh Quite a nice piece. Well, we're looking at the headlights off of the beach wagon? Yes, I think you're right. Because there are other ones on it. And the, the, he's re replaced them with something else, probably off of this. Same type, just better shape. Yeah. And we're looking inside. And you had uh, three speeds forward, I take it. True. Just like the old Model A, only this is a Chrysler. Beautiful job in there, it looks like to me, especially on the upholstery. And down there are some old wheels, and I'm pretty sure they weren't on this thing when he bought it in here. They might have come off that beach wagon. If you wanted to get in the rumble seat of a 1928 Chrysler Coupe, there's your step plate. And Greg, always oh, going to open it up for us so we can look and see what it looked like in there. Now, I know that they're supposed to have a boy and a girl sit back here on a date, but I guess even sometimes two guys or two gals had to sit back there too. Must have been boring, except for the breeze going through your hair. And we're looking at the front end of the Beach Wagon's six-cylinder engine. And down the top. And it looks like a transmission sitting back there. That's going to have to be overhauled, isn't it, Greg? I'd say. Greg, before we leave this wing of this shop, Tell me what I'm looking at. The red car, 1909 REO, two-cylinder touring car. Two-cylinder touring car. And REO almost automatically stands for OLDS, right? Ransom Eli OLDS. It's beautiful. 1909. And the back of the OLDS, REO. And I see it's a 1909 Massachusetts tag. Oh no. The left side. And this is a special treat for those of you that saw the 1927 beach wagon as it came out of the garage some few years ago. We're looking at the front end of it now. It's still undergoing some restoration, but we're getting there. And we'll continue looking at this beautiful restoration of this 1927 beach wagon, which was made especially for the chief financial officer of the Chrysler Corporation to be used at his estate in Newport, Rhode Island. It came to Virginia right after World War II.
this vehicle had been parked for many years down around Leesburg, Virginia. It had been used on a farm nearby there. And these running boards had been eaten by farm animals and didn't exist when it was bought up here. And we're looking into the driver's area. You can see the uh, collar for the steering wheel and some of the running gear down below. It looks like a starter pedal. Sustension for the spare tire. The headlamps are looking good. And for those of you that feel the need, there's a place to put the crank. The right front. Front and left or driver's side front. And that's the roof of the beach wagon. I hope you can see the side curtains as they're rolled up ready for use in case of rain or inclement weather. And you're looking at the passenger's door latch. There's a backrest for the middle seat and on the passenger side that's the middle door inside latch that's a back curtain That's a back curtain. Greg's going to open the tailgate for us, I believe, so we can see what it looks like when it comes open. Two latches, and she comes down. He's being very gentle with it. And there's the rearmost seat there, and we're looking down at the tailgate. And Grace going to show us how that latches. Just goes over and into a pin. Now Greg's going to open the, the center, center door or the back door. There was no a uh, similar door on the other side. It was just the one for getting in and out of the two back for the two back seating areas. Okay, that's the backrest for the middle seat and Greg's going to show me how I could get over that into the back seat if I had to. And did the back seat afford a headrest? Yeah, backrest. Yeah, I see it there now. It's kind of hard to make out in this light, but there it is. Very interesting. Explain to me why all of the ostentation with that orange stripe down the top of the door. No clue. That's the way it was. At the Vermilion. Is that panel. the way it was? That's the way it was. All the colors are, are correct. How did you get our Amish friends to go that far? I didn't have to. <laughs> That's quite an adornment. And of course there's the windshield and that opens up to allow the breeze into the vehicle.